Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Kimber and I am a licensed cosmetologist as well as a makeup artist who loves sharing my passion for all things beauty from hair, makeup, all the way to skincare. And today I'm talking all about my skincare routine, specifically my nighttime skin routine. So I'm going to be doing this a little bit early so that I get some nice natural light here for the video, but everything I'm gonna be using is what I typically do at night. So if you have been curious about finding a really good, basic, not too intense skincare routine, then this will be the video for you. Before I get started, I'm gonna just go ahead and put my hair up and out of the way. Nothing too fancy, nothing super crazy, but I like to get my hair out of the way for when I wash my face, just so I can really make sure I get every area of my face. So usually if this was an actual nighttime routine, I would, oh, that's nice. Don't you love when you do that? <laughs> that's all right. It doesn't need to be fancy. I'm using my handy dandy headband here from one of my favorite shops, Head Threads. I have them linked in my Instagram bio if you are on the lookout for super cute headbands. But I love using these just, just to keep all my hair out of my way, out of my face so I can see what I'm doing. If you've been following me for a while, you know who I am, you know that the skincare journey I have been on has been a long one and it has been a hard one. And finding products that work for my skin has been really hard. I've tried really super high-end expensive things all the way down to drugstore Cetaphil type of products and I just couldn't find something that was actually working that wasn't gonna break the bank either. One of my favorite products that I have used is called Eminence Organics. I did like those products. They were more on the expensive side. <laughs> so I wanted to find something that was a little more budget friendly and I came across a product line called Pomifera. Um, they are fairly new, but I thought, why not? My face is already just a mess and I'm willing to try anything. And some of my friends who were using this product line were having incredible results with it. Um, and as I have found this um, particular skincare line works amazing with the Saint makeup that I am a diehard user of. And so those two put together has just been magic for my skin. I know a lot of my skin issues has stemmed from hormones. So if that is you, you feel like you've tried everything, I encourage you to head to your dermatologist, talk to them about it, talk about maybe some options that you have with hormone balancing. Um, right now I am pregnant. So I am due in about three months with my fourth baby. And, um, my skin has been extremely, extremely dry, but I also have not really had any breakouts. I have one right here right now. Otherwise, this is that you can kind of see in the video. This is all scarring from my years and years of battling adult hormonal acne. Some things that I did to kind of help combat my acne was I started washing my pillowcase once a week. So like every Sunday, that was my day that I knew I was going to wash my pillowcase. I even switched over to a silk pillowcase for a while there. Now I'm not using the silk currently because I have my lovely ginormous maternity pillow that's literally right over here on my bed. Um, but when I'm not pregnant, a silk pillowcase has been amazing, not only for my hair and kind of reducing that frizz overnight, but also it's a lot softer on my skin. So that was something I did. Another major thing that I did was I switched to a more plant-based um, detergent. So um, specifically for when I wash my face towels, I really make sure to not use softener or anything like that. Um, anything crazy scented 
in my when I'm washing my washcloths so because those are going directly on my face but even just for all of my clothes in general I really wanted to have something that was less um harsh on my skin if that indeed was what was causing it I will link the detergent that I use um in the description box below as well as the silk pillowcase I got it on Amazon I will link those things below um and then the third thing that I did is I I I'm like a sugar addict. <laughs> I love my candy. I love my sugar. Um, and so I really tried to hone that in a little bit and not have so much candy, especially being pregnant. You know, you want to kind of watch that anyways. Um, but I felt like maybe the amount of sugar that my body was intaking was also partly the problem of why my skin was breaking out. So between all those things and finding a skincare that worked, my skin has cleared up dramatically. I will hopefully be able to post some pictures throughout this video of what my skin looked like beforehand um, because it's come a long way. Now, being pregnant, you hear my baby in the background? <laughs> being pregnant, I do feel like my hormones right now are like pretty good which is helping with the breakouts. But I will say even before I was pregnant, I was using this um, skincare line with Pomifera religiously morning and evening for four months straight and my skin had never looked better. I was still getting the monthly cycle breakouts. You know what I'm talking about? That time of month, you just know it's coming because you start to break out like right here. I was still getting those, but it wasn't a constant acne battle. Um, and so again, I am a tried and true fan of Pomifera. I also have a couple different products that I've incorporated into my routine that aren't Pomifera, but for the most part, Pomifera is what I'm going to be using. So I will link all these products below, but I'm going to stop chatting and let's get started. First thing that I'm going to be using is the Balancing Facial Cleanser from Pomifera. It looks like this. There we go. Now it's in focus. So this is step one after you have washed your makeup off. So if I had makeup on right now, I would first get all of that off. I use a makeup removing balm from Monate and I love it. So I will link that below too. Once you've washed your makeup off and you have a clean slate, I like to squirt that onto one of these guys. These were literally a dollar at Walmart. And then I just start by washing my face in kind of these swirling motions here. And I really focus that product on my cheeks because this is where most of my issue stems from, as you can see from the scarring that I have. So I really do focus in those specific areas. And then move up to my nose. Really make sure to get those sides of your nose. That's a common place for blackheads, things like that. Move up between your eyes and then on to the forehead. And I am just, I'm not pushing hard. I'm just kind of really lightly going in small circular motions to distribute that cleanser everywhere. But my main focus is this area right here. Okay, so you want to make sure you are cleansing your face for at least 60 seconds. So one minute you want to be doing this for. That way you really, really get your skin clear. So I kind of go until I don't see the white foam, foam, this stuff. <laughs> I go till I don't see that on my face anymore. So that way I know I've distributed that product really nice and even. It also gets really, it doesn't glide as easy. So that's how I know when I can be done. After that, just grab your cloth. This is a nice warm cloth and you'll just wanna wipe that off. 
The cloth I'm using is from Saint. Oh my gosh, these cloths are incredible. It's a microfiber cloth, one of the softest cloths, but not too soft to where you feel like it doesn't have any grit to kind of get off the yucky stuff. Um, so I will link these as well. They are incredible. You can get them in a pack of three for 25 bucks. And I've had these probably a year. I have white and I also have gray. So you can see like how much dirt still comes off of there. And you just wanna get your face nice and clean. Make sure you don't skip out on the neck either. Next product I'm using is actually from Hello Skincare. This is Time Machine. It looks like this, get it in focus. There we go. It looks like this and I actually really, really like it. This is their anti-aging super serum. So I take a little bit of that in there. Woo, so I almost drop it. Get that on my hand. And I like to just pat that serum all over, just very softly, very gently, and just make sure I cover my whole face with that. So I love using this one at night just because your skin actually heals throughout the night. It kind of re constructs while you're sleeping. So that's why washing your face at the very least at night is so important because that's when your skin does a lot of its damage control <laughs> and kind of repairs the brokenness within your skin. Washing your face in the morning is always great, um, but if you miss it every now and then, it's not the end of the world. I love washing my face in the morning about 20 minutes before I know I'm gonna do my makeup that way all these serums have time to really settle into my skin next product i'm using is acne scar remediation oil from palmafera this is kind of post acne um oil that you'll want to use i do about six to eight drops in my hand and i focus this mainly right where my scarring is. So you can see most of my scarring is like right here in this section. That's where I'm gonna focus most of that oil is right in that area. So this is great for when you have finally won the battle of acne and you have leftover scarring that you wanna heal. Using this morning and night for at least three months is when you will get your best results. If you're kind of just using it willy-nilly every so often, you're not gonna see its maximum results. You have to be using it twice a day for at least three months until you can really start to see its benefits. And I really do swear that it's helping, especially on this side. Um, this side had scarring pretty stinking bad. Um, and I feel like the scarring, it's still there, um, but it's not as dark. It's definitely, definitely lightened up, especially through here. So acne scar oil, if you are not one who you have, um, scarring issues like me, I would definitely recommend the Palmafera Rose Oil in place of this. Then I'm moving on to the Nourishing Facial Moisturizer. It looks like this also from Pomifera. And I think I failed to mention both of these, the cleanser and um, the moisturizer, I use for normal to oily skin because I wouldn't consider myself someone with intense oily skin. However, if you are someone who does struggle with acne, chances are you have some excess oil to your skin, which is why you have the acne, partly. There's many factors, but that is one factor. So I picked the normal to oily. They also have one for dry, which like I said earlier in this video, my skin has been extremely dry <laughs> ever since being pregnant. Um, but you kind of have to weigh what you wanna hit more. 
the dry skin or the acne. And for me, it was the acne because I'm putting a moisturizer on there. So that naturally should help with the dry skin. So I do two pumps of that moisturizer. I really focus it on my nose first and then kind of work my way out and up. You want to make sure when you are applying any type of product that you're always kind of working in upward motions. You want to help out your skin now in whatever way you can. If you're constantly bringing it down, then your skin is going to pull down and you're just going to speed up that time of droopy skin. <laughs> and so we want to try and do every little trick we can to kind of help with that. So I always like to go up when applying things as much as I possibly can, just to help kind of maintain the elasticity of my skin. So right about now, my skin is feeling amazing. I love, love, love these products. Um, I'm gonna then, now, I mentioned this in my Instagram stories not too long ago. I have been obsessed with this sunless tanning from Kula. Looks like this. If I can get that to focus. There we go. From Kula. I do one to two pumps of this after. So like that much. After I've put moisturizer on. Okay. And just apply it all over my face as if it was another moisturizer. This one by Kula is a face serum. So I'm gonna work it down my neck as well. I am naturally just super pasty and I have been on the hunt for a sunless tanning for my face because everything that I had tried before was breaking my skin out. Um, Isle of Paradise was one that I used for a while and I didn't realize it was causing breakouts till I stopped using it and my skin cleared up a little bit after not using using it so i found this one by kula and i have been really happy with it i love what the company stands for um all of their ingredients that they use are high quality and not going to be super toxic on the skin so if that's something that's important to you i highly recommend that i will link that product as well next thing i do is my lash serum so this is lash therapy from hello skincare i use this every single night and it's kind of tricky how you want to apply it because a lot of times i hear from people that they were applying it where their eyeliner goes which isn't necessarily wrong but you don't want to be putting it on your eyelid you want to go right below that where your lashes come out of your eyelid. So right on that lash line, and you don't need to use a ton of it. So I'm just going to lightly go right along that lash line. And then I kind of blink like that to distribute some of that product to my lower lash line. Same on this side. Okay, same thing, kind of blink to help distribute that product to the lower lashes. Use this for a solid three months and you will see amazing results with your lashes. I've used that lash serum, oh gosh, like two, two and a half years now. And one thing I love about it, because I've tried other ones like Babe Lash, I've tried Rodan and Fields, and Babe Lash would burn my eyes. Rodan and Fields, when I would wake up in the morning, I had this weird like residue, like white, it almost looked like dried glue <laughs> that I would be pulling off of my eyelashes. So when I found this lash therapy from Hello Skincare, I fell in love because it is vegan. All the ingredients are incredible in it. It's not going to burn your eyes. It does not burn my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. If I get too much on my eyes, then it burns. <laughs> so that's how you know you've put too much on. But um, for the most part, it does not burn whatsoever. Um, and it doesn't leave a weird film. And I felt like my results I noticed quicker with this stuff. So I love that. 
The last thing I use, this one actually is a product from Monate as well. It looks like this. This is the Eye Smooth Nourishing Eye Cream. So I use this guy at night. Very, very little. A little goes such a long way. In fact, I haven't even dipped into the actual jar of it yet. I keep using the stuff that's on the lid because you literally, you barely need any. That's probably even too much, okay? And then I like to put it under my eyes and rub it in with my ring finger. The reason why I do the ring finger is because it's the most gentle finger that we have. It's not gonna be too harsh. Okay, I still have some product <laughs> on my other fingers, but this, the, using the ring finger, it's gonna be the most gentle on your eyes. In your eyes, the skin around your eyes are so fragile that you want to use something that's not gonna be too intense on them. So. I kind of just take that, rub it up here, put it on my eyelids a little bit, and call it good. All right, guys, that is my nightly skincare routine. One thing that I do one to two times a week is exfoliate my skin. I do use an exfoliant from Pomifera that I will also put in the description box below, but I use that in the shower because it can be kind of messy. So whenever I'm in the shower and I haven't exfoliated that week, I will apply that in the shower. I also use it on my lips because it's always good to exfoliate your lips and then rinse it off and it's virtually mess free because you're in the shower and it won't matter. <laughs> so I do that one to two times a week and I also use a face steamer. If you guys have not used a facial steamer. I highly, highly recommend it. I use that about twice a week as well. The one I have is from Vanity Planet and I've been pretty happy with it so far. It's pretty new, but I like what I see so far. Right. So maybe that is it. If you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments below, shoot me an email, and I would be happy to answer any questions you have. But thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to yet another one of my videos. I'm still new at this, but it's been a lot of fun being able to really sit down and educate you on things that I've learned over the years. So make sure to like this video, tap that bell, and subscribe.